This is a short demo of our AuditMaster 4 program to highlight some of its features and usage. If you are using an older version, AuditMaster 4 will let you easily upgrade your database file and preserve the original. There are five main list areas in AuditMaster 4. They are accessed from this lower left area. After you select an area, its list will be displayed on the right. Simply double click an item from the list to display its details. And those appear in this right hand section as well. We will also have some extra details over here. The calendar area works differently, but should be intuitive to use. And we have different ways of viewing our days, weeks, or months here. We can hover over an audit to view some basic details about it. If an audit is clicked, it will display the audit detail page. A query section is in this upper left corner, and it will be present for each list page that we look at. It has been redesigned to be easier and quicker to use versus the Audit Master 3 program. It starts with a text search that will look through all the fields. Simply type something here and click search. Here are some audits to contain the word calibration somewhere within the audit. Audits that will use the same questions in the future may be turned into a template. So I have this audit here and I wish to turn it into a template. Simply click this button here. Now with one click, I can turn this template into an audit. Now we're looking at it as an audit, and we can set the date scheduled and our lead auditor and things like that. An interesting option is our swap view option up here. That simply places the details on the bottom on this right hand pane. Now an another interesting thing is this import from templates. Here are the templates we have saved in our system. And I can simply click and drag some of these items over into our audit area. I can drag individual items or an entire checklist or an entire audit. What I did there is just dragged individual items. Once the items are here, I can number them automatically. You'll see how there are no numbers here. I simply click on renumber and I click OK here and they all have numbers in sequence now. There is a reorder option as well. Now numbers 1 and 5 will swap here when I click reorder. There's also a special option to import audits from an Excel spreadsheet. Under this tools menu, we generate an import template and simply save it in a location. There are some instructions on this page and a checklist page here. Now in Audit Master, I can import that. So you could distribute that template to anybody and then they can bring it in as an audit. Here you can see my added examples and the items that were already there. An existing audit may also be exported to Excel. It can then be completed in Excel and imported back into Audit Master. All right, using our example from the template from earlier, I can export this checklist without results or with results. In this case, without results. Simply give it a name. In Excel, we have these drop downs here. I can simply answer the items and save the audit. Now, back in Audit Master, I would import this checklist 
and find the file. And now we have our results. An interesting option is this follow up audit button over here. That will allow me to create an audit that only has the failures on it on a brand new audit. So I simply click the button and now you can see the ones that failed are listed here so I can answer them again. Audit Master 4 includes a notification utility. It resides down here at the bottom. Simply click on this icon down here and we can see some of the information from Audit Master. In order to see those audits, we would just have to simply set the options within this notification utility. Audits may be emailed from within Audit Master. Information from the audit will be included in the body of the email portion here. We can certainly add extra text to this. The email addresses are filled in automatically in the to box here, depending on the people that are assigned to the audit. It is the lead auditor and the contact that are placed in this to box. So here is the email message you can see that it attached an Excel spreadsheet to it as well. Audit Master will let you add extra fields to the database. The amount that may be added is virtually unlimited. Here we can see the current fields. I may add a new one. There are five different types of fields listed here. Once the field is on here, I can click the move up and actually change its location on the page. Fields may also be renamed or deleted. There are many types of reports available within Audit Master. Some reports are available that apply to a specific audit. For example, we have our audit checklist report. That would actually show details from the audit as we've completed it the blank audit list report here would show the information from the audit and nothing is filled out so you can print that distribute it people to write their information on and bring it back to you an audit performance report will display the findings on it so here's an example of the audit checklist report now in this system the Harrington Group logo was added to the report you can add your own company logo to all the reports very easily through the configuration. You would also set your company name, which would appear on the reports here. On the main list in Audit Master, we have this Export List button, which would export all of the columns displayed here and all of the data to Microsoft Excel. So now we can see all of the information in Excel. And we have other reports available that would show information from all of the audits in the system or limited by a query. I would choose a report. I can specify a query over here. I can save additional queries through this option. Or, of course, if I choose all records, it would display everything. I can also choose specific audit on this type of report. And we have an edit option here, which would let me change the title, the form number, and the description. So finally, I will click on print. 